good and clean shrimp. We're ready to go. Okay. Awesome stuff here. All right, Carol, so what's next? Well, normally I would get the pasta going because that takes about six minutes and it takes about that long to saute the shrimp as well. So, awesome. Let's okay, do it. all right, let me grab my multi grain pasta. There you go. All right. I'm just going to kind of watch you and see, and then kind of see your flow here. Don't just watch, oh, teach. Hey, this is, this, teach. Is, this is the fun part. I <laughs> haven't seen how somebody else does it. My favorite pasta, uh -huh. actually, is angel hair. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm cooking the shrimp because my husband loves it, and, but, and I've always yeah, loved angel hair. So I'm giving something to everybody. Okay, what is it about the angel hair? I do love the thin texture. Okay, yeah. I do. The really thicker spaghettis I don't like. Uh, too hot, too, too, too kind of it is doughy. Just, and yeah, to me, to me. Yeah, sure. And this one is so light. And we got probably about, uh, you know, two, three cups, three and a half cups of mm -hmm. water in there. So just kind of, what you know, general rule of thumb, just kind of grab a, a nice little handful. Okay. And you got, you might have a little hand, so a couple here. You can go ahead and pop that Okay, in and here is the ultimate question. To break or not to break? Never to break. I look at you. Never, never, ever, ever break. Now, why is that? Because, well, because again, we're going for a look. Okay. And if you have short pasta, then it's going to kind of take away from the elegance of your Okay. Meal. So what you're going to do is, yeah, go ahead and just lay it in there. Okay, just lay it in there. Yeah, lay it in there. And uh, as long as our fire is not up too high, it won't burn it on it. Yeah, it won't burn. So go ahead and grab. Okay, another, let me grab another handful. Now, is a handful once one? Serving? Uh, serving, yes. Okay. Now, I mean, in my handful, it might be a... a it is different for me. Yeah. So we're going to... Okay, that's a little larger of a handful yeah, there. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay, so then, yeah, just kind of push them in there. Okay. And uh, be careful not, you know, we don't want to burn ourselves, but just get it in there until, uh, you know, it kind of gets in there. So never break. You want to start moving your pasta around immediately. And this is how you're going to kind of help it from uh, not sticking, as well as the oil in there. Mm -hmm. It's going to kind of lubricate those noodles. But when you first put it in there, you want to you want to stir it for about a minute, two minutes okay. straight, just to make sure that it's loose and uh, it's kind of cooking. Any certain way to stir it? Well, here, I'll kind of give, show you, me. I'll give you a, a little pointer there. You kind of want to bring it out so it'll fall okay yeah. and separate and just separate okay it just a little bit taking the senses angel here we got to pay special attention to right it, right it's doing okay for right now okay now we're going to go ahead and uh turn your eye on for okay. your, uh, your shrimp here we're going to go ahead and shut this off okay because that's going to be about ready okay and uh we're going to get our colander we have the colander that matches the uh Absolutely. stove <laughs> Loving the setup here, Carol. So go ahead and just pop that in the sink. Okay. And uh, pour that right over there. Awesome. Now here's a question that a lot of cooks have. I'm sure they always forget uh -huh. when to rinse the pasta and when not to. Yes, that is uh, that is a trick. Well, when you rinse it, of course you know you're taking the starch out. Yes. Okay, so it depends on the sauce that you want. If you want your sauce, like if you have a thin red sauce and you want it to cling to that pasta a little bit, don't rinse your pasta. Okay. Because the starch is going to help that red sauce kind of stick to that to that pasta. Okay. Okay, now if you're having a cream sauce, for instance, you're going to want to go ahead and drain that uh, and rinse it because you, you don't want your uh, cream sauce to kind of get thick okay. and curdle on it. So we're going to give it a quick okay. rinse. Get in some warm water because this you know, is about a 10, 15 minute deal you got going on here. This is fast. I can, I can come home from work and they have food 30 minutes later. There you go. Uh, yeah. Oh, that smell is already. Rising. Mm -hmm. That's when we know, hey, we're ready to go. Okay. So go ahead and yeah, just kind of pop those in there as gin gingerly as you can. And about the time I get all this in and saute it a couple of times. Be about done. Yeah. Oh, that smell is already. Oh. 
I'm not a lot of two guys. Wow. You are not. Oh. <laughs> You're done learning as a chef. You're just done. You're man. just done. Just done. Okay. There we go. Good. Now I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna grab you some seasoning. All right. We can't do it without seasoning in the Daniel household. That's right. Well, I'm gonna just pop those there and kind of go crazy. Now, sometimes it can be confusing. I think. To put seasoning on too soon, does seasoning burn? Does it overcook? Does it? If you put it in there, put the seasoning in there. I would. Okay. I would go ahead and pop that seasoning in there right now. Because okay. You want you, you want the flavors to be fully extracted from your seasoning, and when you're doing uh, seafood like we just talked about, it's going to cook very fast. Okay. Here we go with our old bay, oh, which we just bay. love. That's a pretty generous portion there. You got a probably a couple of uh, a tablespoon or two on there. That's good. Mm-hmm. We're not yeah. afraid of seasoning. They oh, they even man. like spicy foods awesome. in this house. That's good stuff. Okay. Oh, boy. You good. think that's Those enough right there? Yes. Down. Hey, you do it, dude. You show me. It look, it's looking good so far. You know what? You're a professional. And I'm not even nervous. You're making me feel so comfortable well, about what I'm doing. There you go. And that's what it's all about. I mean, I mean, food is fun. It is not supposed to be intimidating, guys. You've got to realize that it's just food. Now, you see how that, it's, you see this kind of little translucent, mm -hmm. and you got a, just a couple of spots that need to be cooked. But we're about 60 seconds, literally one minute away from being done here. And you got to taste this. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we gotta pull one of these guys out. You, what, would you like a fork? I, whatever, whatever you're comfortable with. Let's go. We don't need a fork. Let's see, ah, a woman after my own heart. Just kind of go for it. Yeah, here. Any one of those little Take guys. that. Let's see what's going on. Take that. Oh God. It yeah, smells it's fantastic. That bay, that tiny oh, it smells oh, good. Carol, you, you, oh. Can I? Am I staying for them? I think I'm staying for dinner, guys. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh man! Oh, oh, oh. I never made this good before. Oh, man. Wow, man! Look at this. We got. I want guys. I want you to get a close up look at that sauce that that shrimp created, man. That is good stuff. A little bit extra virgin olive oil, just some some seasoning, some old bay. Look at the color on that shrimp. Look how nice and and, and, and tender that is. Not overcooked. It's perfect. We got some pasta going on here. Now, Carol, I want to share one thing with you. Mm -hmm. One thing that you could do if you wanted to kind of jazz this up just a little bit. And I would like to do that. Well, good. You can always add, uh, you know, white wine to it, a, a Chardonnay or a Sauvignon Blanc, you know, anything. You know, a halfway decent uh, wine or even a cooking wine. And what you and just pour it in there right when it's done, mm -hmm. and that'll what you call deglaze the pan. Okay. So all of this nice stuff at the bottom, mm. you're gonna get all those flavors mixed in with that white wine, and you're gonna have a, a little bit of a different uh, sauce there. Did you bring any with you so I can do it now? I did. I might have some. Okay. Truck, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll work on that. We'll make a run batch. to the store right. too. We'll to do this <laughs> but, uh, it looks fabulous. So why not? Yeah. Okay. Um, again, hey guys, and it's just the simple little things that make it pretty. Place it right in the center of the plate. Just give it a little twist. And that's going to give you uh -huh. a little oh, high, okay. high and elevation. And that you uh, may know. Right, uh, Tell me something about putting the shrimp on here, aren't you? I, 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 I am, but I want you to show you me. Want me to do it first? Okay. okay. And then, we'll, and then we'll go. See, because, you know, it's just those little twists. Just a little, little twist. I want them. I want them right on there. Okay. So you. Now you're gonna. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna give you the. Okay, before I do the. Chef twist. Okay. The chef D twist on uh, on how you would plate that up. Now this. Okay. Now, we go intimate here. Okay? okay. So what we're gonna do is instead of using your spoon. Go ahead and use your tongue. Oh, okay.